Bruh, it's raining right now. Oh my god. I just came from a three mile walk and then I picked up food from Trader Joe's. But today, I'm real, real excited because last time, as you guys saw, we did the Type R front bumper conversion. Today, we got the Type R side skirts. It's all coming together, man. Okay, we are back home right now. Got the dog out. Also got the dogs out. Yeah, so this is the front bumper from the last video. Hey, fool, stop looking the headlights, man. What you doing? But that's what it looks like. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Got some, uh, not exactly A1 fitment, maybe A2. So these are my Type R side skirts, and I actually ordered them last Christmas. And well, now it's the 2022 Christmas season, so I've been lacking. The reason why I didn't install them is because I was kind of debating on it. I wasn't sure if I liked the style, but now that I have the Type R front lip, it's gonna go perfectly with it. And also, last month I gave my car a little boo-boo. What's up, buddy? Yay! The hardware we're gonna be using is just three of these clips and two screws for each side skirt. So we got a pretty easy install ahead of us. I'm kind of curious though, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to remove my side skirts every time I jack up the car now, cause these do stick in pretty far. And me, well, I jack up my car from the pinch welds. Well, we'll find out. I was not kidding when I said I had this for over a year. It's so dusty. I had to clean off some spiders in it. It was so nasty, man. This that last Christmas dust. Ugh, check that out. Damn, that's a year. I literally have 2022 on my fingertips right now. I was actually supposed to wash the car before doing the side skirts, but since it's raining, uh, it's kind of pointless. Since it's just myself today and the shop dog, my plan of attack is to insert the one in the middle first, and then after that, do the clips and the screws. We'll save that for last, just cause this is the quickest way to get it done. Apologies, y'all gonna have to see my dogs. It's been so long, I don't even know where I ordered this from. I think this is actually from ADS Dynamics. No looker, let's get it. What the heck? Oh my God, the clip came apart. <laughs> no. This is what Daredevil must do. What the what? Something right. Oh, there's already clips in there. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Be sure to take those clips out first before you do the side skirt. I just removed this one, this is the OEM one. It is disgusting. Ugh. So we just removed all of the OEM clips. We're gonna go ahead and try again with the ones that they provided. Pretty sure you could reuse the OEM ones, but yeah, it's new. It's like a glove. What? It's in, but it's not clicking. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> what? This is gonna look fire though. Damn, what the hell? Not this one either. Something ain't right. Something ain't right at all. Ah, I see. These clips don't even flare at all. Okay, guys, missed it, but I did get it in and I ended up using the ones that they provided. Somehow it worked, but when I look at it, it doesn't really flare out much. Thank goodness we have additional screws. If you do this by yourself, definitely hit that metal one first. <laughs> it's so much easier now that I don't have to hold it up. Bro, these clips are ass. Pretty ballsy not doing it with 3M tape. So I just got the first side skirt on. I installed it with two of their clips and one OEM one that seemed to do the job. Now we're gonna go ahead and screw in one in the rear and one in the front and the driver's side should be completely done. So I just removed this screw from the front. The silver one is the one that they provided. It's a bit shorter, so I think I'm gonna go for the OEM screw just to make sure things are good. Maybe I do need a user's. <laughs> what a hold that? We're gonna need to drill a hole in. Hand tools are not doing the job right now. So, luckily I picked up some Milwaukee tools for Black Friday. We're gonna pop these open. So excited, man. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Watch out, bud. Got a little soft pouch in here. Hey, that's bougie, man. Check that out. Check out the drip, bro. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, ah, got some manuals. There are the tools themselves. I believe it came with two batteries and we got a charging stand right here. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in. Got one of the batteries. Ooh, we got a, I believe this is the quarter inch. Got a three eighths electric ratchet, sick. Here we go. Here's the last battery. Because of Black Friday, all that came out to 273. Pretty good. Dude, this is so sick, man. Got settings on the top. Oh my god, that's baller. Dude. 
It was really nice. This battery came straight out the box too. Just got back from O'Reilly's and picked up this seven, yeah, seven piece set. I only needed one of them, but they didn't have the individual, so yeah. Got this whole thing for about like $25, not bad. You might be wondering why I needed this 3 8 2 quarter inch adapter. Well, I have a electric ratchet here, and this is the only thing that will fit underneath without me having to jack up the car. So, we're gonna stick this on top, and to that we have a little quarter inch socket. I'm gonna stick that on as well. And to finish it off, we have a Phillips, I believe, and it fits perfectly inside that quarter inch. So now, we have a makeshift drill. I mean, I didn't even put the bat in here. I'm so stupid. Whoa, it's baller. Holy shit. Damn, this thing is cool. This is my first time using it. Really in the future, huh? <laughs> I see, I see. Sorry, just had to do a little walkthrough first. Figure it out. <laughs> Damn, I love you feel genius for this. <laughs> Wait, is this even the right one? Okay, it is, yeah. It's working. Oh, yup, that's in there good. Woo! Makeshift screwdriver. Let's get it. All right, I also have to reconnect this front uh, front clip because it fell out. It fell out when I was trying to bend this piece down, so that makes sense. But yeah, thank goodness we have these extra screws. So we just got the first side skirt on. Um, it's hard to tell what it looks like because, you know, gray car, black side skirt, small space. So we're going to be able to see it a lot better once it's outside in the daytime, but... So far, first impressions are looking really good. Got the Type R front lip right here, flowing with the Type R side skirts. Damn! I'm not even gonna lie though, that shit's hell low. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a break before I do the other one because I haven't eaten all day long. I'm hyped though, this is looking sick. As you guys saw me struggling, we had about three clips, one in the front, middle, and the rear. We have a screw so that the fitment is pretty good and doesn't wobble in the back. There's also a screw up front. I'm gonna be adding additional screws kind of staggering two on each side towards the middle, just so we have extra security because I really do not trust these clips. So I could basically choose anywhere I want these two screws to go. I'm not exactly following any pattern. First one's gonna be more towards the center of the car and then the one towards the rear is gonna be more towards the exterior of the car. I think that would be really good for balancing. This little makeshift screwdriver that I made is pretty good. I like it, I gotta say, I do, I really do. Now for the rears, I think I'm gonna go a little closer towards the outside. The rear clip is right here. Let's add a screw right about this thing right here. There we go, sealing up that fitment. <laughs> Dude, the fitment on this is beautiful. Sick, ready to go. We're about to get the other side started right now. Same process, take out the OEM clips, place this on there, screw it in. That's basically it. I'm not gonna show it again just because it's the exact same process, but you guys will see the end results and I'm pretty sure that's why you clicked on the video anyway. And folks, just like that, we have the other side skirt installed. Unfortunately, we are not able to cover up the boo-boo entirely, but we covered a good three quarters of it. So I'm pretty satisfied. As far as the sturdiness, check this out. I'm not even, I'm not being gentle on that, trust me. That's not going nowhere. This is how it looks from the rears. Damn, that fitment is nice. Don't worry, we'll take care of that empty spot soon too. That's the only SI badge on my car now. Now that my car's debadged in the front, it low-key feels like a sleeper. It didn't get any faster and it's not fast at all, but it just feels like a sleeper because you don't know it's an SI. That's pretty sick. This is looking so fire right now, oh my god. I know I'm gonna scrape as soon as I leave the driveway. Just standing here looking at it, that shit looks hella low. I really dig the black accents though. I know, that's not even an accent, that's a whole ass language right there. We will get this painted eventually. Um, I think I might as well get that painted once I get the whole car painted. I don't really see a point in me color matching it to that because I don't plan on keeping it like this for a while. Oh man. We have come a long way indeed. Anyways guys, tomorrow morning I'm gonna be waking up to wash the car because I haven't washed the car in a long time. Can't wait to see it outside in the daytime in its full glory. We're all cooped up in this garage right now so the perception's a bit off. In case you guys missed, I spray painted my brakes gold. 
I haven't washed this car in weeks and they still look hella clean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you guys already don't know, modism.com has all your modest needs and the freshest swag. I've been working on my cars this entire week with a different color each time. Even had the hoodie on one of these days too. Streetwear casual working is great for whatever occasion. If you love cars and want to stay cozy, go ahead and pick yourself up a modism sweater or hoodie. We got you. Or if you want to rock a banner like this or a decal like this. Everything is available at modism.com. It's also linked in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure we just scraped going out of the garage. This is actually my first time seeing the car outside of the garage and like actually getting to see to the full scale what the side skirts look like. I think they came out really great, especially paired up with the Type R front conversion. Damn. <laughs> well, the good thing is it's a lot harder to see that little scratch at the bottom, but that's okay. I'll get that taken care of whenever I get the car painted. Don't worry, like I said, we will do something about the rear, but for the time being, the sides and the front, they look absolutely immaculate. Before we start washing the car, we gotta head to O'Reilly's to pick up some car soap. I almost started and totally forgot that I didn't have any left, so that would have been bad. I'm so glad that I live like two minutes away from one. This right here is goaded. Back in the car, we got our car soap right there. That was about $9. This stuff lasts a pretty long time. This is probably my favorite product when it comes to cleaning wheels. Unfortunately, the pump is broken, so we're gonna have to like, I don't know, maybe throw it at it or something. I know my wheels are pretty banged up, but I'm not gonna worry about restraining them until a car show maybe, because it's a, it's a pretty tedious process if you want it to come out perfect, perfect. And knowing me, I'm OCD as fuck about that. Okay, we got some of the solution at the bottom of this bucket right here. That's the best we can do, because like I said, we can't spray it, but check this out. Whoa, it's white underneath. Yeah, it is. I know, it's been a while since I've cleaned my car. But today, she's gonna look spiffy. See those marks right there? Gone, gone, didn't stand no chance. Oh my God, look at that, oh my, oh my God. Punched my grandma in the face. I was looking so far. Got the wheels cleaned up, gotta clean the rest of the car. Just that good stuff, yeah. Damn, smells good. Love gray paint because you can get away with so much. I literally didn't wash my car for three months one time, and it only looked like maybe about three weeks worth of buildup. This is your sign to cop a modism in. This is my favorite part of washing my car. And of course, of course, you didn't really wash your car if you didn't finish it off with some Rev Auto Neo Armor. This stuff is golden right here. It'll keep your car looking clean for at least two weeks. It smells like peach too. Just like that, man. Simple, effective. All right, y'all, we are underneath the bridge near Soria. Yeah. I just pulled off to this spot right now. I got some quick photos in, but yeah, this is a pretty chill spot. A lot of people, they actually end up taking pictures around here because the bridge, but this is what the car looks like in all its glory in the daytime. As you guys saw, we got a fresh wash, and immediately we got some dirt and rocks on the bumper. That's okay. <laughs> Dang, I'm really digging the install. I really like it. I really like how everything flows well together, and it's, it's really changing up the look. Solid, beautiful. We are back home right now. Dude, I cannot get enough how good the car looks now. The front end looking aggressive, paired up with the side skirts, with the tiny, tiny booty. Soon to be filled up, but that's the progress so far. Looking solid. I am not gonna lie to you guys. As you can tell, my hair is different. I thought I had an outro clip film, but turns out I didn't even do it at all. So, my modest, let me take this time to say I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video, and thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you guys like the video and you like how everything is going, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button as well as comment, because I love hearing back from you guys. As we dive deeper into YouTube, I'm starting to understand more things, and the quality of the videos is just gonna drastically increase as time goes on. But for the time being, I just want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. This has been extremely fun, and I can't wait to keep doing it. Now, if you want to see that rear diffuser installed, be sure to hit that subscribe because you do not want to miss that. After that, we'll have the full Type R aero kit on the bottom side. I don't know what the car is going to look like, but I know it's going to look fire. Anyways, thank you once again, my modest. I will catch you guys next time. Stay safe, stay happy. I'll see you guys soon.